Hey guys, what's going on? Zach Hampel here in New York City. And look, this is a different kind of video for you. Just a brief interruption to my normal flow of stadium videos. The last thing I posted, it was a pair of videos from Tropicana Field in Florida. And at that game, like every other game I go to, there were a ton of folks who approached me and everybody was super nice, nothing but good vibes, really appreciate that. But as I'm sure a lot of you know, the internet is not as nice to me. I deal with a ton of haters and trolls. There's a lot of misinformation. People love to lie about me and how I knock kids down and I steal baseballs. By the way, everybody has a phone with a camera. There's still no evidence of me ever doing that. So just putting that out there. But uh, there was one guy in particular that I met during the game at Tropicana Field, during an inning break, middle innings, an older gentleman, certainly older than most of the people who approach me. And he was cool, we chatted for all of like 10 or 15 seconds. Nothing really stood out, except later that night, I got the nicest email from a random person and I realized it was this guy. And I'll actually show you a video clip of him from the last video. He's wearing this sort of orange peach colored shirt. We were out in right field and we got a picture. His brother took that pic and you know, we just hung out for a little bit. And yeah, then this email came in, which I have printed up. It's a little bit long and I do want to read it. It's just, it's unbelievable. And I feel like it should have a bigger audience than just me. So this game took place on June 21st and the email was sent later that night. I'm always a little bit behind with the videos. You know, I go out on the road, I film a bunch of stuff. Then I come back home to New York. I work on the videos, post them little by little, go back out on the road. So. You know, the way I see it, it's never too late to post something this meaningful. So uh, here we go, I'm gonna just read this and actually I'm gonna slide over a little bit so you can see it up here on the screen and follow along. So here goes. Subject, a great baseball afternoon with Zach. Hi there, I'd like to tell you an amusing story today, June 21st, 2023 at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Relaxing pregame in my right field bleacher seat as I await the start of the Rays Orioles game, I noticed a very polite, smiling, talkative, and gracious young guy two rows in front of me. He was painstakingly signing autographs, taking pictures, and conversing with the kids and adults alike as if they were his next door neighbors. I must have witnessed over 50 passionate episodes all met with love and kindness. The kids jumped up and down. The teenagers said, dude, that's Zach Hampel. They knew who this guy was. I thought, this guy is a celebrity of sorts and what a pleasant outlook and kind gestures to all who approached. Suddenly, curiosity got the better of me and I asked another fan, who is this guy? A movie star, I thought. After scurrying to Google, I found out his name is Zach Hampel. Oh, nice, I stated. Uh, hmm, who is Zach Hampel? Oh, that's cool, I uncovered. What a terrific passion and calling he has. I no longer wanna be Mickey Mantle. I want to be Zach Hampel. As I read on, I discovered that some people were less than courteous. Well, it didn't take long for me to decide exactly what was the more accurate description of this young man. A few internet trolls or my own eyes. I wanted to be part of the group too, so I approached Zach and asked for a picture. I told Zach that I looked him up on Google and stated, some people just can't stand success, huh? Been there, Zach. Zach shrugged his shoulders and replied with a Reggie Jackson quote, fans don't boo nobodies. Zach was happy to put his arm around me as my brother took our picture. A few more pleasantries and I politely gave way to another fan. There sure aren't enough affable moments we have with others. Thank you, Zach, for doing your part for baseball and momentarily bringing back the little boy in me from 60 years ago. Zach, you are a credit to your profession and an asset to the community. I wanna be like Zach. Folks, go to a ball game soon and hopefully you too will catch a ball or run into Zach Hample, JF, Florida. So that was amazing. And you know, I do have a page on my website with a ton of nice emails that I've received going back, I don't know, like 20 years. I'll link to that in the description for this video, so check it out. I mean, there might be thousands of them there, but I just felt like this one deserved an even bigger audience, so wanted to share it with you guys. And I think 
that there's an important takeaway here that's bigger than me. You know, on like a dumb personal level, it's like, ha ha, there's, I have a witness that I'm not the worst person ever and he wrote me a nice email. But beyond that, you know, we are in the age of misinformation. It's a problem in politics. There are people who dispute science and just with AI creating all these false images and creating outrage and you know deep fakes are going to be a huge problem who can tell what's real and what's fake so this guy jf he could tell and i really appreciate that for you know that, that he was one of the sane smart and sensible people out there so you know whether you're trying to judge me and you don't know if i'm a jerk or if i'm cool or if you're just living your life try to really pay close attention and look at the evidence so that's it wanted to share that with you pretty special stuff. Uh, the next video that you see on my channel, well, I still do have two Marlins videos from Lone Depot Park in Miami. I think those are coming next, but July 4th is approaching and I have a one of a kind video uh, that I'm gonna release that day. It's only about 90 seconds long. I guarantee you've never seen anything like it. So get ready for that. And we're just gonna, you know, keep this baseball season rolling. We're about halfway through now and I have lots more games and trips planned so thank you guys as always for watching and stay tuned for more stuff and if you think that this is a virtual background well i don't know if it's fair to say that you've been duped by misinformation but look at this here's a little evidence and proof that it is in fact very very real as i chill up here on my roof deck here in manhattan so that's all i got i don't want to shout too loud because one of my neighbors is actually chilling over there but um yeah Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Take it easy, guys.